Here on the Now Buffalo, we sometimes like to take you to secret places that you may never get to visit, but you might find them fascinating. Mike Randall took his camera deep within the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library to spot filled with treasures that only very few are allowed to see. It's not on the regular tour. It's kind of our undisclosed location. The place where the central library keeps its treasures. The vault. Don't worry, it's not dark and scary. In fact, it's well lit and temperature controlled. This is from the uh, turn of the century. Rare book uh, curator Amy Pickard and library director Mary Jean Jacobowski are two of the few allowed in here. It, it's not wise to advertise where you keep your most valuable material probably, so we try not to do that. There are plenty of rare and collectible books, but the first thing we check out is pre-book material, clay tablets dating to 2350 B.C. They're not as exciting as you might think. That's the truth. The ancient chiseled rocks are actually business documents. A receipt for a large uh, lean kid goat. Here's a handwritten page from an iconic author. The notice to reader in Mark Twain's own writing. And check out this book from William Morris, Kelmscott Press. It's a, a stunning outlay of, of beautiful design. Morris' work inspired Western New York's own Albert Hubbard. Here's one of his autograph pieces with a special feature called a four-edge painting. This one is of the Roycroft campus in East Aurora. Inside this secret room, there are newly restored Audubon prints, Shakespeare folios, and it's not just old stuff they're interested in. Here's a recent acquisition. It's called a mechanical book. They call these uh, the people who design these paper engineers. While these treasures are locked up to keep them safe, much of what they do around here is think of ways to share. Our goal is to really share these with the world, so to speak, and we've had a multitude of um, exhibitions. The current exhibit of World War I posters came from this vault. Mary Jean says that while the library is proud to be the keepers of these treasures, they are not the owners. The people are the owners. So technically, this is our stuff, but having paid a visit to the vault, I can tell you that our stuff is in very good hands. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.